And if you do take the time to look at the Kickstarter campaign, there are certain levels of donations. There's a tape being offered, there's signed books being offered, there's shouts out in the book offered. So thank you to all the donors of this campaign. We appreciate you. We couldn't do it without you. And uh, Tommy's book, there's a lot of books being put out right now or, you know, in the recent past. And I tell you what, they don't hold a candle to this book. If you want to know the inside stories of Death Row by someone who was there from early onset until the very end, Tommy's book is what you want to read. And with us right now is Tommy D. How are you doing, Tommy? I'm doing fine. How about yourself? Doing fantastic. Uh, it looks like we got some people on here. And uh, after a quick little Q&A between me and you, uh, if you would, we're going to take some questions from the audience. Looking forward to it. All right. We're going to go ahead and start it out. The book, Stranded on Death Row with uh, Dr. Dre. I, I'm sorry. The book, Stranded on Death Row with Tupac, Snoop, and Dr. Dre. Um, that's what we're crowdfunding here right now. Tommy, what prompted you to write this book and why now? Uh, actually, start, started writing it about five years ago. I found myself like I'd like, be at a party or in the studio and I'd be telling death row stories. And I kept hearing over and over, you should write a book, you should write a book. And then I thought one day, what the heck, I should write a book. <laughs> so I started it with Ben about four or five years ago. We got it halfway done and my father passed away. So I decided to split Iowa because I retired, moved back, and I came back to L.A. to get back in the movie music business and uh, so we wanted to have it out by the time of the movie but we didn't have it completely the way we wanted to but it's almost there this is a j mix exclusive do you what do you say to those that think people fake uh, that tupac faked his own death the tupac what fake his death yes sir well, that's a very interesting question because he's no dummy and I don't think he put himself in a position where he, he wouldn't go back. He knew if he was going back to prison, he wasn't going to get out, to tell you the truth, because he's mentioned that many times. And you, if you look at the Machiavelli, the seven day theory, where the prince faked his death and came back and his infatuation with that and everything and if you sit and watch on youtube all the the theories and stuff it makes me wonder <laughs> you know and i never really thought about it too much until i watched all that stuff and then i thought to myself okay what happened that last night at the last supper that he never wanted to hear stuff back but he wanted to hear the machiavelli album before he left to vegas and he said he came back to me and I'll never forget. He just looked at me and he said, have fun mixing it. Do stuff like make stuff pan back and forth. And he winked at me and, and walked away and they left. But I didn't think about that conversation until about six or seven months ago when I sat down and watched all that stuff. Some of that can be pretty convincing that he's alive, you know, if you, if, you, if you check into it. But then you have people that say, oh, he's dead as a doornail. There's no question about it. We'll never know unless he comes back if he really died. Did you take that conversation to mean when he was talking about the pan that it, the first time that he'd ever done that? Did you take that to mean that he was implying that it would all pan out? No, no. Uh, what he meant was the uh, panning is when you have speakers left and right. You like the voice might come over to this speaker and then that speaker and they pan. But so, but he never talked engineering talk to us. Like he never said, do you know? Like he never talked engineer talk to me. And that was, so when he said pan stuff back and forth, I'm like. Since when does he tell me how to engineer? The only thing he ever said was, turn up the drums real loud, turn up my voice real loud, I don't give a shit about nothing. I just want people to hear what I'm saying. That was his idea. <laughs> I, I, as we close this, I want everybody to please donate and help crowdfund the book, Standing on Death Row, with Tupac, Dr. Dre, and Snoop Dogg. Um, Tommy, it's been great having you on here. We appreciate everything that you've done for us and all the music that you've given us. Can you tell people where they can follow you on social media and uh, where they can get at Tommy D for uh, actual production and engineering? The serious inquiries. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram. I'm not too hard to find at all on search engines. You just type in Tommy D Tupac. All kinds of stuff will come up. Uh, you know, Tommy D on Twitter, as Ben would say. But I do want to thank 
Mixmaster and, and Bobby and Jesse, you and Ben and all these people, Chewy, that helped with the give us ideas of what to talk about today. Thank you. And thank you, Tommy. And uh, we appreciate all the backers. And uh, we'll see everybody next time. Thank you so much, Tommy. Hasta la vista. Thank <laughs> you.